The way sequestration occurs, essentially, what you're doing is you're taking, you're taking coal and you're essentially melting it. You're heating it up and turning it into a gas. When you turn it into a gas, you can separate out the various parts of the gas, one of which is CO2. So you separate out the CO2, you put it in a pipeline, you build a deep injection well, and you put it five or 10,000 feet below the ground and where you store it basically indefinitely going forward. Almost all scientists think that we have sufficient capacity in the United States to store huge amounts of CO2 underground. We know the kinds of places we want to store it in, but we still need to do some experimental testing and make sure that these formations are, at, are, are tight and there's no escape of CO2 from those going forward. That'll take somewhere probably between five and 10 years, but we think there's enough confidence that it'll work that we can propose that plants built now have to be built so they can capture and, and sequester at the end of that time period.